Uh, literally a couple of minutes ago, I got a message from a subscriber of ours called Brian Uzri. Uzri? I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Um, suggesting this game, which is really crazy because I installed it last night, thinking, well, oh, it might be a bit of fun to play on the channel. Um, it doesn't really satisfy my wish for a game where I can be the Nazis, but... Uh, and I have been told about a few, but they're all multiplayer, and, you know, I'm not really into the whole multiplayer thing. This is Super Wolfenstein HD. Oh, hang on. I have to loop the theme. Um, this actually has its own music, which we are about to turn up. That's, that's live audio production at its very best. I mean, you got me turning down the sound of one computer and turning up the speakers on the other. Oh, my hair looks terrible today. Um, in general, I look awful. Um, you might notice I've also moved my piece. This is really boring, but I've moved my pe uh, computers around because at the moment I'm building, well, pretty much I've got the soundproof booth happening for making music in, and um, I need the Mac on that side because that's where all the audio magic's going to be happening. So I've swapped everything around. I really am having a very hard time getting used to sitting in this position because I'm used to the fast computer being on that side and the slow one on this side, so I keep getting... It's very... Also, um, David left his iPhone Plus here, so if you guys are looking for, like, maybe a Ben test or something embarrassing like that, I mean, what kind of idiot spends a grand on a phone? And leaves it at Scotty's house. Um, he's been bitching about it all week because he can't get down here to get it back. He can't get anybody to come down. So, basically, just suggest things for me to do to David's phone, guys. Post your comments. Um, yeah. Let's start this fucking game before I fall asleep. Get psyched! I am. Um, the last wolfenstein -y thing I played was called Voxelstein. Voxelstein? Voxelstein? It was a few years ago. I was a big fan. Not so much of a bit, ooh, bit loud. It had scary music though. Don't really like scary music. You know, me and the broom dog have a, a checkered history. Oh. But this is really cool because it's got like physics y kind of walls. Look at that, see? Whoa. This guy needs to know that I'm on his side. <laughs> now, what I haven't figured out yet is how to like pick up guns. Can you even do that in this? I'll figure it out. Oh! Oh, look at my headshot skills, guys! People tell me I'm crap at the games, but I mean, I am basically nailing the, uh, I'm, I'm, ooh, I'm killing the game. I really hate, oh, pretty much any expression with the word game in it. Game changer, killing the game. I also don't like when female celebrities are being described by any fashion blog or just news site in general. And they're saying, she rocked X item of, of clothing. Wow, she's totally rocking that necklace. It's like, um, fuck off. She didn't rock anything. She's wearing, she's... You get, you get. You guys know how much I hate pretty much any popular expression of anything. Um, just common, whoa! <laughs> common patterns of speech that shit me. I'm sure. I'm, I'm being a bit of a dude kind of burnout hippie. I mean, I've never been on drugs, but people often assume that I am like some sort of druggy hippie burnout. But I, I do adopt that kind of language, so I'm, I'm sure there's lots of turns of phrase that I use. That, uh, oh, here we go. Man. Can't we just get along? Whoa, the dogs! Oh, I used to, in the original uh, Wolfenstein, I used to hate the scenes where you had to kill the doggies. I might just try and get past them, actually. Whoa. <laughs> look at them. Oh, shit! You have to look at the doors to open them? Here, poochie pooch. Ouch. I feel like the rabbit at the track. So do we, I guess with dog oh shit with dog racing you have you can place bets on that as well on the outcome. Is that is dog racing anything like horse racing? Like horse racing seems to be such a corrupt sort of murderous industry, you know, because horses are always dying and the the outcome. Let's face it, the outcome in horse races is always fixed. What I'm curious is with ho uh, doggy races, are they the same? Like, oh wow, this is like Wolfencraft. I'm back! <laughs> oh no, not the pooch! You made me kill that dog! Oh, now I feel terrible. Oh, hey, what's going on? Ah, ah, ah. Oh. I played for years Wolfenstein 3D, I only had the demo. And uh, I didn't realize there was all these other songs in it. There was like the title song, and then there was that one and maybe a couple other things. So, I had a childhood full of game demos, never had him having the full versions, and it always spun me out when I when I grew up to adulthood. <laughs> I didn't grow up, but I became an adult, and all of a sudden, there's like 
It's like... The only other analogy I have is, when I was a kid, all the movies we had were taped from the television. Um, and then, when we grew up and all of a sudden you could buy movies on, uh, you know... I didn't really buy movies when they were VHS because I was still too young. But when the DVD thing happened, we were like, oh, let's get some DVDs, you know, let's get, buy these films. All the films had these extra scenes I never fucking knew about because the ad breaks, they'd often, like, trim stuff out. And, um... Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, and the sound. I'm used to, like... I watch a lot of 80s movies... Sorry about this. I watch a lot of 80s movies on DVD and the sound fucks my head because I'm used to, like, muffled... The, the sound of a tape that's been played a hundred times kind of thing. So, consequently, a lot of the music sounds way worse than I remember because all the synthesizers, they were kind of, like, muffled and shit. And here we go. I'm going to try and win this. Just, you know, weird stuff that... It, it takes getting used to this modern world because stuff does change. Oh! I'm really, really sorry about the doggies. Fuck, you know, at least... If the real Nazis had been this potent, things might have been different. We might all be speaking uh, Prussian. <laughs> Bavarian. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh. I really... <laughs> it's very grim. I do like these character models way more than I should. Fuck me. The, um... Uh, the walls, the physics -y walls, are less of a factor in the gameplay than I thought they might be, but... But, yeah... Whoa! Can you guys hear this game? I've, I'm, I'm trying not to let it impact my video making, but um, I am thrown for a loop by my new. Oh, you're coming with me into the dungeon. Um, by my new room setup. You wouldn't think swapping the positions of two computers would be a factor, but it is. I'm. Uh, I've heard that autistic people have a hard time. I'm not autistic, by the way, but um, people, my friends like to joke that I am. Um. And I think you could probably make a case for anybody who makes Let's Plays being a bit aspergery, but um, what was I going to say? Um, apparently they like their circumstances to stay the same. Um, so maybe maybe there's something to it. Thing is, I mean, I've taken a couple of those quizzes, which obviously is not a reliable way of diagnosing yourself with a mental condition. And uh, no, I always get really low scores, so I don't know what the deal is. I think... It's not just an autism spectrum, there's just so many different kinds of human behaviour and aspects and shit. And I really, really, really think we are still way far off getting like a full a grip on them, like on defining them and shit. I don't know. And sometimes people are just playing dicks, other times like they've got a, a walnut-sized tumour in their brain that they, they simply was never discovered until it was too late, and it made their behaviour horrible. Um, I don't want to kill the doggies. This is what the game doesn't seem to understand. I'm gonna save my bullets. Oh, what happened there? What did he get me? How much more of this game should I play? Oh, no, I really do like this. This is a fantastic little title. I think it's um, I don't actually know where it came from. It came... I saw it on a blog, and then Brian Usry reminded me that it existed. And since I was gonna make videos tonight, I popped this one on first. But um, what was I gonna say? Um. I think it's one of these. Oh, here we go. Here, extremely rough prototype in the. P oh no, he's got jam jams named after him. That is desperation, isn't it? Come on, game developers, you guys don't need him to promote your well, like, What happens to people whose games get played by him anyway? Do they like? Do they just? Do they get like 24 hours of incredible attention and then sort of no one hears from them again? Or what's the? I have to assume even even that small bump would still be a good thing. Like, better than nobody having heard of your game ever. I don't know. You guys, what you, do, what you you've got to understand, and I'm sure you know this already, is that I know nothing about anything. I need you to kind of be my information source because I I'm, I do read a lot of blogs and shit and news sites, but it doesn't really soak in much of it because I don't really care about what's going on. <laughs> like that whole Gamergate thing, fuck me. Couldn't give a rat's about that. Um, but um, as, consequently, it's hard for me to sort of retain a lot of information, you know. As much as I make fun of that Jordan Owen dude, I actually watch some of his videos from time to time just to, like, see if I can figure out what the hell's going on in the world and, uh, in this weird little, uh, corner of society that I associate with. And, um, to be honest, no, it's all clear as mud. His bald friend is even weirder. I can't keep up with that guy. He's got a video about, uh, sluts in Star Trek or something. I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, yeah. He's, a, he's an auteur. I'll say that much. He's, um... I don't know. I mean, you guys get the idea. This is a cool game. A physics-y take on Wolfenstein. I could have said that in 30 seconds. Oh, shit. He got up again? 
Again, if the Nazis had had this kind of staying power, oh shit! <laughs> Who knows how the war would have ended? I dare say it might have gone the way I was. Uh, you know. It's you know I don't know. It's really I suppose it's not cool to joke about Nazis winning the war and stuff. Or um, the game I really want to play is Hatred, that, uh, that massacre one. <laughs> I, you know I might as well say it now because it's not it's not a, a very original idea. And uh, somebody will probably beat me to it when the game does come out. But I want to play Hatred and be like a pacifist playing it. Like not kill anyone for half an hour. See how far I can get. I don't know. Might be worth trying. Anyway, guys, that... Like I said, that was Super Wolfenstein. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the SS. That's beautiful. Um, this is... Uh... Oh, where's Expert? We still like... I hope they're recorded. Um, David's phone, guys. Get ready to... Su send in your... Uh... Suggestions. <laughs> Things I can do with David's stuff. It's always very good. Anyway, take it easy.